Millsy, Millsy, off the grid down under. Southwest Western Australia. Well, I'm going to get a bit of mulch today, so I'll take you on a bit of a journey, have a bit of a laugh. I'll do all the hard work. You just sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you at the end. Um, we've got a bit of uh, a surprise for you in, great uh, bit of footage. So we'll catch you at the end. Have a good ride. See ya. at the, uh, the resource that I found. I'll just give you a bit of a look at uh, what we've got going on here. Um, here, up here. I'll just uh, swing your camera around and see as far as the eye can see. I've got all this here. Now I've been shoveling about 10 or 50, 12 or 13 loads I've taken and that's and, and that's Sort of the dent I've made in it. Not much of a dent, I'll just show you me shoveling in a sec. It takes about an hour to fill the ute up. And it's about half an hour away. So yeah, I don't think I can tell everyone where it is. But um, yeah, this is it.
Yeah, I've been here for about an hour, loading up. So, uh, yeah, that's it all the way up there. Comes down here. Comes all the way down there. And yeah, here's my useful. Take it back home and uh, we're now unloading it. Here we are back. Full load. I'm down here at the fruit trees. I've done all the uh, the mulch. Oh, fucking buggered. Um, did about almost 20 loads, I think. And all that shoveling. Um, yeah, uh, I thought of doing it with a uh, garden fork. <laughs> and someone uh, mentioned the garden fork, and I discounted it a bit too uh, too quick. And and what I've uh, I learned, I, start, I did uh, 17 loads, and then I uh, thought oh, I'll give the garden fork a bit of a crack because I was getting a bit tired, and it was getting a bit hard, you know. I'd go over there and oh, I'd be looking at an hour of hard shoveling, and uh, and I tried the garden fork. And man, don't discount something until you've tried it. Um, the garden fork fills up the uh, ute in about 20 minutes. And it's easy shoveling. It's not like uh, a hard 45 to an hour. So um, yeah, you can calculate how much the uh, mulch cost. If I was uh, if I was um, um, charging 300 a load, you know, you'd be looking at six grand. You probably buy it for 150, but then you still got to travel. Um, yeah, and I've uh, I've also uh, Done about um, 30 bags of uh, sheep manure. I put a bit of sheep manure on it, so it's all done. So I'll just flip you around and give you a look at, uh, at all my trees here. Yeah, so I'll uh, 
start up the top here, there's a little uh, lychee tree. It's been growing a bit for a while. I just run through you the whole lot. I'm not sure what this one is. If you know what that is, let us know in the comments. Um, up here, this is a little uh, big tree. Big tree finally lost its leaves, a couple of leaves. Um, I don't know what this thing is. If anyone knows what this is, let us know in the uh, in the comments. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, we'll move right along. Over here, I got me uh, pear tree. Yeah, pear. I've actually had one pear off that not last year, year before. Here we got the uh, apricot tree. Over here we got a uh, peach tree. This peach tree is all starting to bud up here now and getting ready to flower. We've got, um, not sure what this one is either. Uh, some sort of vegetable tree. Here we got the uh, We've got an apple tree, got another apple tree, and then there we've got the third apple tree there. Over here we've got the uh, pomegranate, and we've got this uh, peach tree. The first year this peach tree and that peach tree, I've got a lot of peaches. This one's been sort of half flowering since the beginning of winter. It looks like it's got a few buds and ready to crack open, but that's been a bit weird, that tree. Um, it's been trying to flower since uh, the beginning of winter. Here we've got a little, uh, little orange tree. Not sure, it's showing, uh, re reciprocating a bit of the love I've given it. It's starting to flower. Maybe we'll get an orange or two off that. This one's a uh, mandarin tree. It's starting to flower too, little buds starting on that one. And this one is another orange tree. Another orange tree. And the uh, nectarine tree. So what I've been doing, I'll fill up that IBC. I've uh, put all the gutters on the house and I've only got a little tank up there. <laughs> And a lot of water comes off that roof. So uh, what I've been doing is letting it run down to this tank and just keep pumping me trees full of water. So I hope I don't drown them. Anyway, here's a nectarine tree. Um, we'll see how that cranks along. It doesn't look like it's doing much just yet. And actually, I forgot, I got this uh, plum tree here. This is a plum tree. And another plum tree there. Got the uh, little laquat tree there going okay. The bigger laquat tree here, and then we got um, uh, two more apricot trees here. Got that one and that one. Haven't had much fruit off them yet. Hopefully this year. And that thing there is um, some sort of berry tree. And it struggled through the brutal last summer. Actually, keeping water up to that under the hassle. And here we go. Come through to the other section. This one here is a uh, pomegranate tree. It was all taken over with vines and that a week or two ago. It's all getting good now. Um, here's another peach tree. And this peach tree sort of looks like it's Starting to bud up a bit. There's a um, red mulberry, black mulberry tree. Um, this one down here is a uh, jujube tree. We did have, uh, there was two. From there, we come up here to this uh, fig tree. Um, never really lost its leaves through winter, that. A bit of a worry. Um, 
I think fig trees are meant to lose their leaves. This one is uh, a little peach tree. Um, up here we've got the a little uh, grape, another little pomegranate there, another grape there, and this one here is a uh, white mulberry. So we've got the white mulberry coming down here. This here is a uh, cherry tree. Uh, here's a stinky bean tree. We just recently put in this orange tree out of the tub. Uh, we've got the pear tree here. This pear tree, the beginning of winter, was full flower. <laughs> I don't know what the trees are doing. This one here is a mulberry. Yeah, they never really lost their leaves and the mulberries this one especially it um it started fruiting early like the beginning of winter never really lost all its leaves um yes i don't know what's going on it's got little fruit on it now i don't know how it'll pan out uh, that one i'm not sure what that tree is here's one of my olive trees it's starting to go another pomegranate tree and uh, here there's another plum tree and this is a um, olive tree grown from uh, from seeds from uh, up at Brian's place took it out the bottom of one of his trees so yeah that's all the uh, the trees I'll give, them, I'll give you a bit of an aerial shot and then uh, we'll catch you So good day. I hope you enjoyed that uh, run through on the uh, trees here. If you've got any value, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back, come back, like, subscribe, come back.